There is a significant fire taking place right now in central Sydney's CBD. You can see the smoke coming out of these helicopter shots. Um, we'll very shortly take you to some of those shots and see what's taking place. But just to explain for, to, for you, uh, we're in Surrey Hills near Central Station. This particular fire is probably within about 300 metres of where we're going to air with you right now. We have seen the blaze. We've seen 30 and 40 metre flames coming out of the top of that building as it was on fire. Uh, we're hearing that 50 people have been evacuated from that building, uh, which is on Elizabeth Street, and as you can see, is right next to Central Station. So it will obviously be a significant disruption to not only traffic in that area, um, but also then to uh, the potential trains. Around this area, you can see there are cars on fire, another building adjoining this building had also caught fire at one stage. The fire services have done a terrific job in bringing that under control. But this would be one of the biggest blazes that's been seen in Australia's metropolitan cities in recent years. Um, it is a significant event, um, as I say, will cause major disruption and, and quite clearly also is uh, uh, significant in terms of it. You can see people behind there um, at some of the, uh, the train, the light rail stations, basically waiting for it. You can also see now that these flames have gone into adjoining buildings, uh, but it is going to be a massive disruption as we go. We'll bring you back more details as we go to air today, but we'll resume with other parts of the program today and basically tell you that it's all about the uh, issue of PricewaterhouseCoopers and the scandal for getting information. Um, and this is about Australia's biggest accounting firm. There's other bits and pieces going on around today, but in the meantime, we might just move away from those pictures for a moment and just bring you up to date with some of the latest market information with my colleague, Ed Boyd, who's standing by. Ed, these pictures we're seeing here are pretty dramatic, most significant uh, that we're seeing in recent times, aren't they? Yeah, they sure are, Ross. We, I haven't seen a fire like this ever before up close. I mean, it's literally 100, 150 metres away from News Corp's headquarters in Surrey Hills. Um, I, I've just read a report from the Daily Telegraph saying it looks like the fire may have broken out at about five minutes past four Eastern Standard Time. Um, yeah, we could see out our second floor window and just see these massive thick clouds of smoke billowing up into the air, giant red-hot flames. Um, there's lots of crowds of people as well um, standing out on the streets. They've come out of their apartment blocks and office buildings and are just looking, observing from a distance at what is going on. You can see it's still clearly a massive blaze there. Still going to take quite a long period of time, I imagine, for the fire services to get that under control, Ross. Yeah, it's going to be interesting, Ed, and you can also see there that there's adjoining apartment buildings. Uh, there, at one stage, the flame has had spread to one of those apartment buildings. Um, they had been concerns there as well. But just to explain to you where this is, so Central Station almost adjoins this building, uh, and you can see behind there the light rail stop that basically is right beside Central Station. So this is in the heart of Sydney. You can see vehicles have already been destroyed. Uh, and this particular building here um, is right next to almost virtually across the road from one of Woolworth's key executive offices. So this is giving you some sense of just the central nature of it and the work that's being done by the fire services to try and bring this blaze under control. But uh, it, it, the, the flames were certainly much bigger earlier on, uh, but you can see from these shots now coming from the helicopter, just the, the, the heat that is within this blaze and also just the potential danger because of the proximity of this particular building to other buildings in the immediate environment. As I say, some of those being, um, being apartment blocks. And so this is where there will be serious troubles. Uh, my colleague Kieran Gilbert is also standing by. Kieran, uh, this is clearly an emergency situation right now taking place yeah. in central Sydney. And these, uh, these pictures are, are, are significant. They're dramatic. And you can see even collapses taking place as we're going to where now. And, and even when, when it looks like the firefighters have got the upper hand, look at that now. Look at that erupt there. Yes. We're, we're told that there are explosions uh, from, the, from nearby. People are hearing explosions as this building is going up. But when, when it looks like they're getting the upper hand and then it flares again and then those you know, huge flames erupt once again. But as you said earlier, Ross, the, the flames initially were so large and so intense that there were 
there must have been huge concern in the nearby buildings, those apartment buildings, those office headquarters that you alluded to as well. There are several fire crews you can see there doing an incredible job, but a great deal at stake, both lives and property this afternoon in Sydney. Central Station, one block to the west of this building. We know our own News Corp headquarters, just a street or so away uh, as well. You've said that uh, it's also the headquarters for Wool Wool uh, Woolworths, but it's sort of that mixture of both property, uh, com uh, commercial property and residential in that area. And when you see the size of those flames that these firefighters are having to grapple with, um, there is a huge amount of risk involved. And then also not just to that uh, building and its immediate surrounds, but spilling over given it is such a densely populated part of inner Sydney, Ross. Yeah, it's true. And also, Kieran, just be aware, and you can just see uh, the exclusion zone that they'll be building around this. Um, and as Ed and I were saying, this is, you know, 100, 150 metres away from where we're broadcasting right now. And you can see that the uh, New South Wales uh, fire services have brought their complete uh, operations to try and bring this under the control. This building, you'd imagine, is pretty much lost. You can see that's gone. What they're trying to do is to prevent it going to neighbouring buildings. You saw earlier uh, it actually going and jumping across onto uh, neighbouring terraces and uh, effectively the fire service moved really quickly to try and bring that under control. The building to the left there, in fact, is where all of Woolworth's digital operations come out of. So, you know, as I say, there's um, around here retail precincts. There is, um, you know, apartment buildings. It is one of uh, Sydney's central hubs in regards to uh, transport. And so, you know, even Elizabeth Street, um, which goes straight through the, the middle of the city of Sydney, it is one of the main thoroughfares through this area. So,